To run a compiled program from a terminal, we simply type the path and the executable file name. Here, that slash indicates the uh, current working directory, and the hello is our executable file name. When we press enter, we see hello world on the screen, meaning that the program has been successfully executed. This is a simplified system organization diagram. We have a CPU in blue box. CPU is a chip built upon the billions of transistors. It's like a brain of the system and very complex. To name a few important components of CPU, we have a registers, which is the fastest small temporary storage. And we have an ALU, arithmetic and logical unit that does calculation and makes decision. We have a PC which stands for program counter and the program counter PC is a special purpose register which has the memory address of the instruction being executed or to be executed in next clock cycle. CPU also has a cache memory. This is fast temporary memory storage sitting between registers and main memory. The system also has a main memory. The main memory uses a DRAM technology. The main memory is located outside of CPU, so it's called off-chip memory. Disk is also a very important component as it holds all program and data when system is powered off. SSD, the solid state disk, is getting more and more popular. Compared to traditional rotating hard drive, SSD is way faster, but is a bit more expensive. The system components are connected through buses. We have a system bus between CPU and chipset, and we have a memory bus between chipset and main memory. We also have I.O. bus between chipset and peripheral devices. Let's talk about what happens inside the system when we run our Hello World program. Before we run the program, the Hello executable file resides in disk. As soon as we press Enter key, the Hello executable file is loaded to main memory via I.O. bus and memory bus. From there, it again moves to the cache memory and registers, and finally decoded and executed by the ALU engine. As CPU executes the printf statement, the hello world text moves from CPU to display via system and IO buses. Here we have several important observations. The system spends a lot of time moving data and programs. And system has multiple different memory spaces. That is disk, main memory, cache, and registers. The main memory and the memory spaces hold both program and data. All memory spaces except disk are temporary storages. The data is loaded, used, and overwritten by other data. While the system is powered on, the CPU repeatedly executes the instruction pointed by the PC and updates the PC to point to the next instruction. 